everybody welcome to polymer clay tv i'm elisa and this is a fun one i've got planned for you today so we're going to make this really cool veneer and i wanted to show you here's a couple colors com uh, different color combinations that i did we're going to do a different color so you can see it in you'll get to see it in like three different color combinations this is like purples and blues this is like reds and oranges and burnt umber kind of colors but you know it's really really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to get started. So, what you're going to need is white clay for this project. And I have a stencil. Now, you can use any stencil you want to do this design. Um, it's completely up to you. But this is one from the shop. And actually, we're, we're going to offer, if you get this <laughs> before we run out of them, um, you'll get a free stencil if you spend $20 or more. And I'll, I'll, I'll post the code or whatever in, in the, in the uh, section below. So anyways, we're just going to start out with the placing the template or stencil, whatever you want to call it, onto the white clay. Now this is an important part. You have to really make sure that you get the clay rolled in so it basically kind of melds with the stencil. If you don't do this, you, you face the chance of the alcohol ink which is going to be our next step going underneath the stencil and you don't want to do that because it'll ruin it um, and it won't give you the appearance you're looking for so I thought it would be fun to try some try these pearl alcohol inks and these are from Ranger and they come in all kinds of colors um, I think about a dozen but you have to shake them up because on the bottom there's this mica in there and if you don't shake shake it you're not going to get the true pearlized look and I'm using the alcohol ink. Sorry, it's a little noisy. <laughs> I'm using the alcohol inks in the pearl. And you can get yourself a dedicated brush or if you don't care about a brush or whatever. Um, this brush here is kind of dedicated. And the thing is, it has all different colors in it. And I didn't wash it out. So I like that because it helps to blend it. And, and you'll see as I go because the colors come out and it... it it, it creates a nice look, so I, I left it. I don't wash it in between. So I'm just going to drop in the parts that are white. It's a little hard to see probably for you because my stencil is so dirty. <laughs> but those are the white parts of the clay that's coming through that's not, you know, this actual stencil. I love the way it sparkles when, when the camera hits it. You know, you can see... But you see here where I'm moving this around, it's it's kind of changing the color a little based on what's in my brush, you know. And you can continue to paint around, and there I think you can see that there's it brings like a, a little brown tone. And you don't have to paint the whole stencil, you're just painting the parts that um, are white because that's the only clay part that's going to show. So, you know, but if you want to, by all means, you can... Uh, do the uh, stencil it's not gonna hurt it all right so let's try another color I think let's try this peach color what is this actually called let me see where they got the colors on here enchanted I used this on that other color other one but I think it might be nice on this as well and I let I just let it run wherever it chooses to go I let it go I'm not particular with this because it, no matter what it turns out nice and I'm just you know adding a little bit you don't need a lot I'm a little heavy handed sometimes um, and then I like to kind of pull pull that back into the next layer here and I get a you know a blended kind of color which I think looks cool and really you just want to do this until you get a color that you like you know you get an overall kind of look that you like you know, depending on what you're going to do with it, you know, it's how much coverage you need. I mean, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to make just a pendant or what I'm going to do with this. So, you know, I'm just going to cover all of it with, with paint before I take it off. Okay, so now I'm going to do Tranquil, which is a blue color. And I think I'm going to just drop it around randomly on this one. And hope that it touches a little bit on each one. And then go a little more heavy out here. 
and then I'll come back with my brush and kind of blend it all. And this way, you know, the alcohol inks can be blended out nicely. You know, they're 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 not real saturated colors like you know, like if you're using a paint or whatever. These are more translucent, and so you can create really cool effects with it. Um, I went a little heavy handed as I usually do. Um, if you're a little heavy handed and you know, you don't want to sit around and wait for it to dry. You can kind of come back and do something like this. And there you go. Now, um, then after I did the alcohol inks, I kind of came back in with my powdered pigments and, and added a little in the center, just a little round kind of motion to kind of flare out a little and give it like a center till you like it. You can add it anywhere else you want. And then, this is the fun part, where it really takes on a whole new change. I like to use a texture sheet to texture it right while it's in the stencil. So you could use multiple texture sheets. You could use rubber stamps. You can use metal stamps. Anything you want, it's going to look cool. So I'm going to, I'll go with this one. And this one's called Bargello Leaves. And it's a new one we have, and it's really cool. You can even mix up several um, textures. So I have this uh, Lucite block, which I like to use. It just helps from anything slipping. And I'm in an awkward angle, but I'm going to try to get a nice impression here. So you give it a nice and push, you know, because you're going through that stencil. And sometimes it'll stick to it. Yep, and then I just move it over a, a little bit here so that I get the whole thing impressed. And if I missed anything, I can always go back. It's not a big deal. All right, that looks good. Let's do this side. Just take your time with it. I'm, I'm on camera, so I'm trying to go a little faster. But you take your time, you can get a nice impression pretty easy. And that looks about good. If you see anything that's a little light, you can kind of go along and do your thing until you get it the way you like. And that looks good. All right, so then at this point, it looks like a blob, doesn't it? <laughs> Real attractive. <laughs> but I promise you, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous. So now I'm using this Real Gold powders. And these, I think, were in some of the Create Along boxes. If you're not familiar with the Create Along boxes, you can check it out at createalongbox.com. They are monthly doses of inspiration. We put together these boxes of fun mystery goods. As you can see here, I'm just kind of going around and, and highlighting a little. I'm not doing it all. I just want it in, in spots. So, yeah, so you can check out the Create a Long Box at createalongbox.com. But one, one month, I think we gave these. These are like a real gold powder. It's so bright. They're not like the, um, the uh, Jacquard ones, the Pearl Axe and stuff. These are like a pure gold. They're really cool. So, just do it to your heart content whatever colors whatever you know designs whatever and then you just got to reveal it and you, that's when the fun comes in I love this part and so just pull back slowly and you're gonna find you have the most gorgeous design ever look at that isn't that beautiful I love it love it love it love it love it and so you have this beautiful veneer that you can then, you can make jewelry. I can imagine coming back in, ooh, these would be, just this section here would be really cool earrings. You know, you can make a pendant with this. You can make a box. I, I mean, the sky's the limit, as I always say. But So once again, here's several colors. This is the one we just did. Look how beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. And here's the one with the purples and blues. And you saw how simple it was. It's just a matter of adding some color to your stencil and then texturing it. And then making whatever your heart desires. So, hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's a lot of fun. And I'll leave notes below, so make sure to check those out for it. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me.